Good morning. This is Nancy. I should say good day, or as you might be looking at this on a night instead of a daytime. Anyway, this is Nancy Garnan with Remax Alliance. It's Monday, the 23rd, so I'm bringing you the new listings that were put on the market this past week in Loveland. And excuse me for scratching my nose, it just itched. So there's 27 of them, and I'm going to go ahead and move this up so it's a little bit easier to see things. Um, Northern Colorado Daily Homes is where I post this. These searches do not work. I was going to take it down, but then I decided this week I'm going to get it fixed. So as you can see, we have homes throughout Loveland. County Road 23H is out here, Panoramic Drive, and these are a couple of the upper end listings that are on the market this week. And we can go take a look at those. Um, some newer construction, just kind of a nice variety. So let's go ahead and get started. And I don't think 27 is that much. This is what's confusing to me. 27 is not that many new listings this time of year. It should be more. And so um, I think that we're starting to see a scarcity in inventory. I'm seeing people do increases in prices. And so right now I'm just going to kind of go through these as I talk a little bit. Here's one at 150, um, first time home buyer. It's a two car garage and it's got 1,040 square feet with a wood stove. A31 Garfield at 158. Now some of these are zoned. And let's see if they change the zoning on this one. R3E. So it'd be really helpful to understand fully what R3 is. But at least this agent just didn't say res because so many agents don't take the time to figure out what the zoning really is. Here's one on Avondale. I thought um, I thought that was bank owned, but it may not be. Uh, it is bank owned on this one. Dove Creek at 164. It's a well very cared with an open floor plan and there's lots of pictures. I love it when I see people do 25 pictures and then we go to one that has just one. 24 hour notice, day sleeper. They want to encourage us to bother the day sleeper by not having more photos. Heather Drive is 185 Albrecht Ranch. Um, it's got a basement in it and there's no additional pictures inside. It's requesting showings be delayed until July 27th. So soon they should get some photos posted. Here's one on Edgewood at 199.8. Wembley Court, it's a tri-level. They like the outside is the water feature and I guess the hot tub stays. Redbud Drive. At 208 is a beautiful look at the landscaping on that. That's oh, so I'm sure they're going to sell that with the house, but maybe you have to wait next year for the fruit to come out. Here's some new construction coming in 104 level at 2297 at 214.9 East 11th. And there's a couple in here that don't have pictures, and it always amazes me how agents do this. Here's another one on the same road, road in Garden Gate. And they've got a hot tub back there. I don't didn't look to see if that would stay or not. Here's one on Cheetah at 229. It's a grade two story. I'm wondering if this is there was some on Cheetah and I don't think this was it. Here's one with no photo. Sold before published. It's under contract. Karina clean home to move into. Now this one is in a metro tax district which is kind of nice because your HOA fees are also tax deductible. At least that's one of the way it's been promoted to me. This one is a Nukla. It's new construction. They do have a model home that you can go see and Westerdahl has an RV garage which is kind of nice. Great three car ranch home in popular Seven Lakes for 290, 294. This one on West 31st is 2953. It's got a covered patio, which is really nice, and a large backyard. It's nice to have the homes come on the market that have large backyards because there's something about a garden or just that space because we get so close into our neighbors these days. Um, this home will go quickly at this price. Well, it's four days on the market and it's not sold yet. So uh, it's a lovely home, though. It's in Hunter's Run and it's listed at 324.9. Lose it, we'll seal court. Now, I don't know, this picture to me looks funny, 
It doesn't look like a real picture. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the camera. It just, um, anyway, it's on Lucille Court. It's listed at 334.9. Here's another one without pictures. So we had two without pictures. I knew there was at least one. Now this one is the one that's south of Eisenhower. It's on um, 20 acres. It's listed at 475. And I have one listed on Eisenhower just south of it kind of on the road, but for three hundred and fifty thousand. Panoramic is five hundred and fifty nine thousand. It's all brick. It looks like it's a walkout basement. Uh, they only want pre qualified buyers showing the house. So um, and you know really truly you should do that so that if you get into a competing offer situation you can get a better deal here. And this is a ranch style home on forty acres. Um, here they said 35 plus, and up in here they say 40. I don't know why they didn't say 40 acres from here. Anyway, it's a beautiful kitchen. That's what else on the market that was put on this past week. Let me know if you'd like to see some of these or have information, have questions. You can search for homes on their website here at uh, ngarnand at homesincolorado.com. And we do look forward to helping you in this market as things are happening. And thank you so much for visiting, and feel free to share this video with anyone you know that might be considering a move to Northern Colorado.